Two years ago, we had a musical gift in that we got to see live in a small church about this size within the Fisk University, not only the Fisk Jubilee Singers, which is a gospel choir, African-American gospel student choir in Nashville, who, when the university was nearly broke 150 years ago, this, they put their last points together and set this gospel choir on tour. And these young singers uh, sang before Queen Victoria, who saved the university and dubbed Nashville, based on this choir, the Music City. So it isn't the commercial um, uh, um, country music that left us there now that earned the title Music City. It is the Fisk Jubilee Singers. And there were and 20 gospel music. gospel music, and there were 20 singers in the choir, unconducted, no music, no sheet music. The room was filled with music. And they just breathed together and sang together. And, you know, we, we work hard to do that as two of us. I've never seen a choir do that with 20 people before. It was incredible. And then, so that took our breath away, and then our gospel heroes, who what we have learnt, we have learnt from listening to, the Fairfield Four, who are now quite old. The group's about, probably about 80 years old by now. It's not the original members. Mm -hmm. But, but close. They, they had a revival okay. a long time ago now, and um, uh, their current members are like in their 70s and 80s at least. Uh, but they look like, when you see them, we, we saw them there in the room and they look like little old men. They kind of, they walk, walk along like this, really like a thought. All right, we're seeing them past their prime, and then um, they were and, and just these, getting these, good. Yeah, so these yeah. The, these little old fellas, the, the students, kind of help them up the steps onto the stage, you know, and they stand up in a row, and then they just sort of transformed. And uh, best thing, best thing I've ever seen is that concert by the um, the Fairfield Four. Amazing. They only we only heard four songs, but honestly, our hearts could not have taken any more. <laughs> And we were 40% of the white audience in that concert, so we were feeling very white. Yeah. And, and if you are moved to, we will sing this as tribute to them, you know, move, you're welcome to. 